Greetings, celestial ancient ones of the new Lemurian timeline of the new Earth ascension. This is it. What is this? I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. But something sacred this way comes. Nothing stopping us, brothers and sisters of the light. No worries. We are the divine decreed of the holy ones. Gaia's earth angelics that came on mission to shift this whole realm from the dark to the love and the light. We are the love, the light, the truth of the I am presence. When you think of Christ consciousness, think of love consciousness. When you think of Buddha consciousness, think of love consciousness. When you think of pure consciousness, think of love consciousness. For we flew into this realm on the wings of love, and we never forget, we always remember, our true light, our true source, our true divinity. So on the wings of love we rise up, in your brilliance and in your light, exposing your diamond sword of truth, speaking from your heart, victory to the light. Okay, let's see what we got here. It was another very strange day in the Matrix. <laughs> I have a couple stories at the end of today's transmission on my journey today to try to secure a place to stay for the next few months. Hey, come on. We have to come back down to 3D once in a while, brothers and sisters of the light. <laughs> I still have to eat and live and have a roof over my head. So here we go. We'll get into some of the minutia. I may be offline for a few days. I plan on transitioning to this new place by Monday the 21st. So I might not have the internet for several days. So don't worry, I did not get consumed by the solstice. At least not yet. And if I go dark for a couple days, don't worry, I didn't return to my ship just yet. Our ship, the queen and I, is mothership. But soon enough, and until then... We're still completing our mission here of the Eagle and Condor in 3D, 4D into the 5D. And remember, tomorrow on the 19th is the second day of the booster meditations for the Age of Aquarius activation on the solstice. If you didn't listen to yesterday's transmission where I transmitted information about this sacred ceremony at Uluru, the magic box, the black box, which is part of this Pleiadian connection. It's the activation of this crystalline box that has never been opened in this realm, which you can participate in the ceremony no matter where you're stationed all over this realm. You're in an anchor point. You're in a sacred portal right now as you're listening to this. So where you are right now in this infinite space-time continuum is where you need to be for this great activation on the solstice and the activation of all sacred sites to create and transform this whole realm into a sacred realm from the dark to the light, from the false to the true, activating the full Heros Gamos for all of humanity and all living beings. And really, brothers and sisters, you cannot make this shift up. <laughs> all right, where are we now? I'll do my best not to jump into too many timelines because we shifted into a positive more positive timeline last night many of you felt it experienced it although today may have been challenging because we're integrating these new energies and getting used to these higher frequencies that are coming in today preparing us for tomorrow's activation into monday solstice into the 24th 25th full activation i'd like to take a moment to thank everyone for their support on patreon if you'd like to support our work and mission for our Healing Retreat Center, Sustainable Community, and many other things, you can start by making a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And each pledge is a vote to, for me to keep continuing these transmissions and to prevent me from starting a cult. That may be my only other option here. <laughs> Grandmother Bear, she wants to come in today. I'm going to do my best not to let her take over, but we'll see what we can do. And I try not to get too serious. So I'd like to th also thank everyone for supporting my sacred condor, my queen, on her Etsy page with these goddess totems. I'm calling them totems now because they are powerful works of art 
containing the divine union codes and the Heros Gamos. So if you'd like to support my angel, our angel of the light, you can purchase these at lunagoddessart.com. I posted today a meditation on the community page of my YouTube channels, uh, meditation. So check that out. Also, anyone that is not on Patreon that purchases a goddess totem from my queen, over the next 24 hours, I will send you a video training on a sacred art that I only teach either to students in my dojo in the past or to our angels on Patreon, which is an Andromedan art transmitted to one of our gold dragons, which we call calling down the star nations or the sky beings. If you're on our Patreon, you can find that under our page. I know it's getting harder to find stuff. There's no really easy way to organize all the videos. It kind of goes in a timeline of when it's posted. That's why I started posting special videos to my YouTube channels and the community. So if you have trouble finding that, when you click on any video, you click on my name, either Paul Butler or the Prime Disclosure, and then you'll come to a page with little links at the top that say home, videos, playlists, community, channels, about. Now I'm only putting this out because many people send me questions on this. You just click the community tab and I'll put, I've put multiple videos of trainings that I've done on Patreon to help our people find these videos easier. And then in the future, that's what I'll be putting on the community page. Every time I do a training, a teaching, or there's an event, I'll put that on the community page so it's easier for our team on Patreon to find those videos. So thank you all for your patience. I know that things are changing, things are developing. Some people like these formats, some don't. I can't please everyone. But a friendly warning, anyone that attacks me about how I do things online, it just adds fuel to my fire, so keep it up. <laughs> thank you, grandmother. <laughs> And remember, I've been duking it out with the reptilians since the day I came into this realm. So this internet nonsense is nothing. So don't worry about it. <laughs> so if you purchase one of these goddess totems at lunagoddessart.com, just send me an email, habaneroson at yahoo.com, or post it in the comment below with your invoice number, and we'll send you a link, a special link to the training on a special art on how to connect and call down the star nations, our star brothers and sisters. So thank you all for your support and your patience. And my queen and I have a lot of work to do and our magic wand hasn't been working lately. So we are figuring out ways on how to generate interest and funds for our great mission. So thank you all for your support and your pledges and donations and we'll figure it out here. For together, we are better. And on that note, thank you for bearing with me for a moment. We'll take a look here on the Schumann Resonance today. There is a white blast of higher dimensional energy coming in at, right before I started this transmission over the last few hours. It is 6.38 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have the power of 15 coming in, 1.5 and there are synchronicities with 555 today, 15 and 51 into the 66. We're going to take a look at the activations for the earthquakes 163. There we have the M1.5 or greater in the last 24 hours. The most powerful today in the sacred portal in Papua New Guinea, 5.2, which is connected also to the Uluru activation, which will be Monday. Uluru is known to be the solar plexus of the earth. It's the heart of Australia, the motherland, and connected to the rainbow serpent and the rainbow bridge. Earlier today, in the sacred portal, South America, Argentina, just south of the Tropic of Capricorn, in our sacred Andes Mountains, the Kundalini of Pachamama, 4-4, eight energy coming in, 118 kilometers depth, then in Afghanistan, in the sacred portal, a 4.1, 193 kilometers depth. Big Lake, Alaska, 3.5, again with the 8 energy. Russia, 4.5 with the 9. Japan, Shimoda, 4.9 with the 13 energy of the Divine Goddess. 
the sacred portal in Turkey, 4.3 magnitude, 106 kilometers depth. There we have encoded the 7777 into the 777. Then we had the Papua New Guinea with the 52 again with the 734 kilometers depth, again 77. 4.8 again in Shimoda, Japan with the 12, 12 into the 13, 13th dimension. 4.7 in the sacred portal up there and looks like the Arctic Circle. Let's take a look here. My computer's running really slow right now, so bear with me. Yes, that's up in the, looks like Greenland Sea. Svalbard, Svalbard. I guess that's Norway. We have uh, activation in Puerto Rico, 3.1 Fiji, 4.5, 517 kilometers depth. So we have the nine encoded there. Rio del California, 3.9, again with the 12. Baja, California, Mexico, 3.2. South Sandwich Islands, close to the Antarctic Circle, we had a powerful 5.0. South of Fiji, again, 4.6, 504 kilometers depth. We have the 19 encoded there. 4.4 in Taiwan, again in Argentina, right on the Tropic of Capricorn, in the Andes Mountains, where our sacred condor flies high, 4.2. 227 kilometers depth. Then in south of Kermadec Islands, 5.1, 37 kilometers depth, 37 into the 73. Japan, 4.4 4 with the 8, 427 kilometers depth. We're having many deep activations today. The Virgin Islands with the Atlantean energies, 3.7, 142 kilometers depth. So we have the 37. 77 into the 73 sand point in the crown of Lemuria. The crown is being fully activated, fully open, fully awakened. 5.0, and then the last earthquake a couple hours ago, right in the heart, right in the center of Lemuria, the island of Hawaii. 3.3 with the 33 just south of the Tropic of Cancer. So the ring of fires lit up, the central ring, the great central sun, which we'll get to in a little bit here. And real quick before we get started, please let me know in the comments below if the audio is okay. I've had a couple complaints in the last few days. I've been processing the audio a little differently and someone had expressed their concern that it wasn't loud enough. So please let me know if it's not loud enough. A lot of times if there's one complaint or comment that something's off, a lot of times it's their computer, but I want to make sure that it's okay for the majority of people. So when you leave a comment, please let us know if the audio is good or if there's an issue. Thank you. We'll get started today with our first transmission from Divine Sister of the Light, Maureen Moss. Today is the merge of the galactic sun and the great central sun. If you look at the sun today, you will notice it mostly white and quite large. The two together are blazing light codes directly to earth. This begins an even greater amplification of light and code streaming into us. DNA, head and heart, heading towards solstice. If you feel dizzy, brain fog, or in between dimensions, all is well. Remember, we are being upgraded. Drink lots of water, ideally with lemon or chlorophyll daily, and all days going forward. If possible, be outdoors. Here we go. Love to all, Maureen. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Celia Fenn. 18th December, Sun Earth in alignment with Galactic Center. The diamond light of the great central sun fuses with the golden light of the sun. The two suns shine brightly in the heavens. Light codes are pouring down as we move towards the 1221 solstice alignment. This is powerful, everyone. You may feel dizzy and ungrounded, so stay grounded and drink lots of water to stay hydrated. You may feel that everything is surreal and brighter and more intense, as though you are in another dimension, because indeed you are. Feel the love and the peace and the joy that is streaming to earth now. Now, this moment, celebrate. Love to everyone. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, The Ancients Awaken, December 18th, 2020, Planetary Conjunction. As we rise, as we awaken, together in one light, 
No, a great synergy of light is forming as we globally align, for the ancients are uniting, awakening the new earth construct. Much love, Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com. And today from Forever Conscious, hello Saturn and Aquarius. Saturn is now in Aquarius and Jupiter will follow in a few days. Both Jupiter and Saturn will align in Aquarius, forming what is known as the Great Conjunction. This rare alignment occurs on December 21st, the same day as the solstice, and it brings huge activations of energy. Even though December 21st is getting all the attention for being this high vibe day, the energies are already brewing. You can start working with this high vibe energy now. How? That's up to you and where you are on your journey. You can use it for ascension, fuel to help you understand yourself in a deeper way, manifestation, strengthening your intuition. There is no one way to work with this energy. Instead of trying to control and have expectations, we should also allow ourselves to surrender to it and allow this energy to guide us where we may. The more we expect and hold on to things, the less open we become to the ebbs and flows of this energy. Drop the expectations. Don't ride everything. On December 21st, start now. Also, to help navigate Saturn and Aquarius themes in your own life, do some journaling today. What themes stand out for you? How are you feeling today? Write it all down to look back on as Saturn makes this 2.5 year journey through Aquarius. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Patricia Cota Robles. Don't miss this rare opportunity. We have just completed one of the most powerful eclipse series we have ever experienced. That is due to the fact that truly life-transforming events have taken place since January 1st, 2020, which birthed this new decade. Humanity and Mother Earth are now able to safely receive higher frequencies of fifth dimensional crystalline solar light from the celestial alignments occurring throughout the universe than ever before. This is allowing us to greatly accelerate our ascension process. When this new decade was birthed in January, we were told by our Father Mother God and the Company of Heaven that during the next 10 years, humanity will change the course of history for Mother Earth and all her life. They said that during this time, humanity will develop latent abilities through which we will literally transfigure our earthly bodies and our outer world life experiences into the heart-based patterns of perfection associated with the new earth. The beings of light said that this seemingly miraculous transfiguration will be accomplished through a greatly expanded collaboration between the company of heaven and an awakened humanity. Our Father Mother God revealed that this degree of collaboration between heaven and earth has never before been attempted. If you have been following the information from the realms of illumined truth that Air of Peace has been sharing this year through our weekly vlogs, our monthly newsletters, and the events from the Planetary Reboot which took place during the 34th Annual World Congress on Illumination, then you are aware of the profound truth contained within that revelation from our Father Mother God. Now as this unprecedented year comes to a close, we have the opportunity to participate in two final activities of light that will assist Mother Earth and all life evolving upon her to transcend the painful vestiges of manipulation, oppression, and control from the old Earth that are now being dismantled and crumbling away. The Company of Heaven has affirmed that through the unified efforts of awakening humanity and the divine intervention we will receive from these celestial events, Mother Earth and all her life, will ascend a quantum leap forward into the new patterns of the heart-based template for the new earth. The final two activities of light for 2020 involve the December 21st solstice and a rare alignment between the planets Jupiter and Saturn known as the Grand Conjunction. The conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn takes place every 20 years, but this year the closeness of the two planets and certain other aspects of this conjunction will make it a very rare event. This particular grand conjunction is being heralded as a once-in-a-lifetime show in the December sky, with only about one-tenth of a degree separating the two planets that will almost look like a single planet shining in the sky. This will be the closest grand conjunction in nearly 400 years. The last time this occurred was in 1623, 
Jupiter and Saturn will appear closest together on December 21st, which is the solstice. Many astrologers say that this conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest planets in our solar system, is the star of Bethlehem, seen by the shepherds at the inception of the Piscean Age. The grand conjunction occurs when Jupiter and Saturn align at the same degree of the zodiac. For the past 200 years, this grand conjunction has been occurring in Earth signs. In 2020, during the solstice on December 21st, Jupiter and Saturn will align in the air sign of Aquarius. This alignment will take place at zero degrees of Aquarius, which represents infinite potential and limitless possibilities. The beings of light said that the solstice and the grand conjunction take place at the same time during this life-transforming year of 2020 will create an extraordinary opportunity for humanity en masse to co-create a tremendous shift in our collective worldview and our individual and collective visions for the new earth. The earth is now in the full embrace of the age of Aquarius. The grand conjunction aligning at zero degrees in the air sign of Aquarius is creating the sacred space for the I am presence of every son and daughter of God evolving on earth to elevate our holy breath. This will allow each of us to receive higher frequencies of prana and our life force with every breath we take. The company of heaven said there are not two words to describe how effectively this will empower our efforts as we unify our hearts and minds in the process of co-creating the patterns of perfection for the new earth. The seventh solar aspect of deity, which is the violet flame of God's infinite perfection, is the predominant aspect of deity that will influence the earth during the 2000 year cycle of the Aquarian age as the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn takes place during the December 21st solstice the I am presence of every person will elevate our holy breath allowing each of us to receive higher frequencies of prana and our life force with higher frequencies of prana and our life force being inhaled and exhaled with every breath the violet flame will be amplified exponentially through all time frames and dimensions. Every thought, feeling, word, action, memory, and belief that yet remains to be transmuted back into light will be enveloped in the violet flame and transfigured back into its original perfection. We are being told by the company of heaven that this influx of the violet flame will clear the path in unfathomable ways for the birth of 2021 crossing the threshold into 2021 2020 has been a very challenging year for millions of people in many ways i know that there are those who cannot wait for this year to be over and they are praying that 2021 will be a much less traumatic year for everyone well because of the incredible activities of light that were god victoriously accomplished in 2020 even in the midst of the pain and the suffering people were experiencing the company of heaven has assured us that the divine potential for 2021 is very positive. They want us to know, however, that the key to releasing that divine potential is up to you and me and the rest of awakening humanity. In spite of the challenges, and in many instances because of the challenges in 2020, millions of people were able to raise their heads above the quagmire of surfacing negativity manifesting in the outer world. This allowed them to see the light in their own divine potential in life-transforming ways. They connected with the divinity of their I Am presence in ways they have not previously experienced. And at long last they began remembering that they are sons and daughters of God, empowered with the gift of free will and the creative faculties of thought and feeling. This means that through our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions, we are actually creating the circumstances in our lives. We are not just victims being buffeted about by random events. We have a purpose and a reason for being. We embodied on earth with a mission and a divine destiny to become co-creators of the new earth with our Father, Mother, God, and the beings of light and the realms of illumined truth. Now as we cross the threshold into 2021, some predominant questions are arising in the hearts and minds of the newly awakened souls, such as, Do I really have a mission? Can I possibly make a difference? How can my humble efforts create a new earth? The answer to the first question is yes, we all absolutely have a mission. In Richard Bach's book, Illusions, he has a wonderful test to help us determine whether or not our mission on earth is complete. 
The test is, if you are alive, it isn't. So as we birth the second year of this new decade, one of the key factors in helping us release the divine potential for 2021 is for us to accept and acknowledge that each and every one of us is already what we seek and what we desire to be from our highest level of consciousness. All we have to do is claim that truth and then live, move, and breathe out of that knowing. Our earthly bodies are literally multidimensional technology. In the new paradigm we are co-creating, we have the ability to hold space within our bodies for the highest frequencies of vibration. All we have to do is consistently pay attention to who we are being in every moment through our thoughts, words, actions, and feelings. Every single one of us has all of the skill, wisdom, knowledge, strength, and courage we need to succeed God victoriously in our mission. We just need to listen to our heart and respond according to our intuitive inner guidance. During the December 21st solstice and the simultaneous grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, every person's I am presence will elevate our holy breath to new levels. We will then begin breathing higher frequencies of prana and our life force with every breath we take. In the physical world of form, our breath is our connection to Source, our Father, Mother, God, the cosmic I am, all that is. That is why we take our first breath at birth and our last breath as we leave the physical plane through the process we refer to as death. There may be some challenging things happening on the planet in 2021, but if we stay focused on the light and understand that these events are necessary, in order to clear the way for the new earth, we will experience being in the world but not of the world. This precious planet is going through an energetic collapse in order to dismantle and clear the toxic patterns and paradigms from the past. These destructive patterns are not coming back and it will be up to you and me and the rest of awakening humanity to replace them with the heart-based patterns of the new earth. The I am presence of every person abiding on earth and the entire company of heaven are standing in readiness awaiting the opportunity to assist us in this holy endeavor. But remember, not even our I am presence or the company of heaven can intervene to help us without us asking them to do so. No one is allowed to interfere with our free will. The beings of light have told us there is a universal law that decrees the call for assistance must come from the realm where the assistance is needed. This means quite literally that those of us abiding on earth must invoke the light of God and ask for the assistance we desire from our I am presence and the company of heaven in order for these divine beings to have permission to intervene in our lives and to respond to our heart's call. The good news is that we are one with all life. Consequently, as the beings of light have revealed, if those of us abiding in the physical plane affirm our oneness with the I am presence of our sisters and brothers abiding on earth, then we can invoke the light of God on their behalf. This is easily accomplished by merely affirming before our invocations, I am my I am presence, and I am one with the I am presence of every person on earth. There is a school of thought that believes if we invoke the light on behalf of another person without them specifically asking for our help, we are interfering with the learning experiences they need to go through. Whether that is true or not depends on how our request for assistance is made. If we invoke our I am presence and the I am presence of the person involved before we invoke the light of God on their behalf, that changes everything. When we take this important first step, it gives our I am presence and the I am presence of the persons we want to help permission to receive the light and to control how the light is used. Our I am presence works solely towards our highest good and the highest good of all concerned. It knows exactly what our unfolding divine plan is and it perpetually strives to help us expedite the fulfillment of that plan. Our I am presence knows why we are going through the particular challenge we are experiencing it knows what we are going to learn by transmuting that experience back into light, and it knows how close we are to completing that process. Our I Am Presence also knows precisely how to utilize the light it is receiving for our highest good. That is true whether it is light that we have invoked or for ourself, or light that has been invoked by another person on our behalf. When we begin our light work with the affirmation, I am my I am presence and I am one with the I am presence of every person on earth, 
instantaneously the I Am Presence of every man, woman, and child on earth receives a signal from our I Am Presence and stands in readiness to receive the light we are invoking on their behalf. Then every person's I Am Presence assimilates that light and uses it in perfect alignment with the person's divine plan and their highest good. This happens no matter who is making the invocation. This is what the company of heaven means when they tell us, you are powerful beyond your knowing. We literally have the ability to invoke the light of God through the I am presence of every person on earth simultaneously. Just contemplate what that really means for a moment. Instead of spending our time and energy invoking the light just for ourselves. with the same expenditure of time and energy, we can invoke the light on behalf of the seven billion five hundred million people evolving on the planet so as we prepare for the birth of 2021 let's develop the habit of setting aside some time every day to invoke the light of god on behalf of ourself our loved ones and all humanity together let's make the heart commitment to be instrumental in releasing the divine potential for this new year dear one this is a powerful and light-filled time Stay focused on the light and be the miracle you are capable of being. Just breathe and be here now. I wish you a glorious solstice, grand conjunction, holiday, and new year. Please know you are not alone and you are loved more than you can comprehend at this time. God bless you. Patricia Cota Robles from eraofpeace.org And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Tiara Kumara the sun we are so blessed by the high frequency cosmic light streaming through earth's great solar presence people everywhere are awakening by this transcendent light all that is happening on the outer world stage is greatly fueled by the immense waves of solar infused light that are constantly with us and building we are indeed approaching critical mass and the heralded quantum leap in consciousness a lot of the spiritual minded are looking towards this coming solstice, December 21st, 2020, as a very powerful peak moment that bathes us with this high frequency gamma ray particulates. Many say this will trigger such an upliftment of energy that it will be like slingshotting us into a new reality. In fact, it is said to be the moment that we make transition from the age of Kali Yuga to the Sat Yuga of light or the aquarian golden age it is also being said that it is the true date of ending of the mayan calendar versus what many believe was 2012 i deeply sense that all of the unleashing energy from 2020 is building into a huge crescendo while initiating a great orgasm of spiritual awakening and transcendence we are already witnessing this in the outer world with all that is happening it is quite evident that a huge gateway of revelation is opening the approaching time of solstice will greatly boost this momentum just when we need it the most. We are now inside this peaking window in time, which comes into full amplitude during the solstice on December 21st. During this hallowed time of approaching solstice, remain connected to your divine presence while holding the highest spiritual alignment possible. Meditate, stay in your center, laugh, be happy and joyous. Many blessings on your continued journey into the light. Today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. One, two, three, four. A very big ending and a quick turnaround of new beginning is occurring today. Bequeathments are here for turning back the hands of time to your original soul blueprint and cellular DNA of Christ. This is a crystalline embodiment upgrade we are now receiving one harmony and one tone with christ 144 this is all happening through the 1221 heart gateway activating your dna to the christ codes of light consciousness and light frequency this upgrade is rapidly purging your flesh of emotions of the past that have been stored as cellular debris in the system the divine mother shekinah is here with her sword of truth and justice releasing your flesh and energy bodies of 3d relationships people patterns and drama for good this is to ensure the successful birthing of the new adam and eve 2.0 unions of the beloveds anointed through this omega stargate you have a story to tell and it's time to be spoken resistance to this path has ended for good 
Focus on journaling, writing your book, creating your new website, writing music, or manifesting your master plan. This is an opportune time of creative output and sharing that will bring you great financial success and remuneration. There is a path, 456, in love and relationships that you have mastered through experience. The student has become the teacher. Your spiritual divine wisdom and depth of understanding from a universal perspective is highly needed now. You are being guided to show others the way through communicating the lessons you have learned. The Capricorn New Moon Solar Eclipse is the beginning of expanding your network, new relationships, collaborations, and divine unions. Until then, the divine is destroying all remaining debris of the third party, karmic drama, internally and externally in your life. These clearings support the new soulmate relationships and partnerships with soul family coming after the eclipse. This is also preparing you for your new beginning of divine union. A new beginning of freedom from the devil interfering and blocking your union is here. This is bringing a lot of change. Divine timing is at play. You are fully guided and supported to make these changes today. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Juno enters Sagittarius, Venus in Sagittarius, sextile Pallas in Aquarius. Ideas about formal commitment, marriage, contracts, and agreements are subject to a mind-expanding influence. We are asked to consider what's my philosophy when contemplating these aspects of our lives. The challenge is that sometimes we discover that others don't always have a similar vision, and Juno can get judgmental in this position. Still, it's the perfect time to explore whether you are moving in the same direction, whether there are detours to take, roads to discover, a path less traveled to try. Venus, also in the same sign, puts emphasis on freedom, the freedom to choose, the freedom to follow one's heart, the freedom to believe that which makes life a little more beautiful, but still believable. Her engagement with Pallas invites us to look for patterns in the way we relate and to think about what life has taught us. In all matters of relating, there is an invitation to create peace and harmony. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Ken 4, Yellow Self-Existing Seed. Day 4 is called Self-Existing, and its keywords are Define, Form, and Measure. This number is all about the details and taking a closer look at things. Today is a great day for gathering information, so you may proceed on the 13-day journey well-informed. Know where you stand. Today is yellow seed. Keywords associated with it are awareness, targeting, and flowering. This is a great combination of day and number with both energies being concerned with fact-finding. The yellow seed is about seeking knowledge and sharing wisdom. It's a great day for teaching or studying and exchanging ideas. The yellow seed seeks to plant ideas into your mind that later will grow into understanding. When yellow seed occurs on the fourth day, you can be sure a lot of information is very detailed. There's a lot to take in. By the end of the day, you should have learned something new. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Yellow self-existing seed, Kin 4, 18 December 2020. Defining a new form, 18 12 2020, equal 9 3 22. Equal 934, equal 97, equal 16, equal 7. 18, social upheaval. 9, endings, destiny, service, humanity. 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity. 22, form, structure, foundation, earth. 4, form, foundation, earth, angelic. 7, magic, mystic, spiritual initiation. Kin 4, equal form, foundation. New Earth is really shaping up to take form now. A very powerful code for awakening and manifestation as we are continuing the construction of the divine foundation for the New Earth. Day 4 in the Red Mother Dragon Wave Spell where we are incubating in the womb of creation. We are being guided to focus on nurturance and compassion for ourselves and others and our planet, realizing the importance of self-love in the giving and receiving of unconditional love in order to grow and flourish and be born anew. Now that we have birthed, taken our first breath, and become activated, 
it is now time for our desires to take form as we begin to define what our beautiful new world will look like. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone four, and the mental plane emphasizes thinking and analyzing, action, measures, power defines, essence forms. The fourth day of the red dragon wave spell is the one that gives shape and form. Day four is very powerful creation day. Four represents the earth element, structure, form, solid foundation, which amplifies the year 2020. Equal four code of the master builder and architect of peace, which have been the main themes for this year. We are building a sturdy foundation for further growth to take place. This allows you to manifest your vision and finally gives your ideas shape and form in your physical reality. It is time to define what is important, what stays and what goes. When we use our discernment to mold the life we want, we only keep what is in alignment with whom we are. What are you ready to cut and let go of? By pruning and cutting away the old dead wood, we encourage the new shoots and new growth, red dragon, to take hold and bloom. During these extraordinary times, we have been forcibly isolated and removed from the superficial distractions of the time equal money, our official matrix. We have had to reflect and to analyze and reprioritize what is truly important to us at a soul level. From this point on, we will have to decide what we wish to invite into our lives and make room for a new lifestyle based on time equals art as we weave the new harmonic time matrix. We are all star seeds born of stardust. Each of us has a planetary service mission programmed into our individual soul's plan. We are galactic beings and also have a galactic mission beyond the confines of this planet. It is time to think much bigger. Break out of your human shell and reach for the stars. Our life force is heightened as we experience a renewed passion for life. The universal fire sparks your creative brilliance and bring sunny optimism and faith that our world is getting lighter and brighter each and every day, despite the illusion of doom and gloom. Today we must focus on the highest timeline for our planet, which is the utopian dream. Too many souls have become lost and confused in the chaos and uncertainty of the collective, and thus are unknowingly energizing lower, undesirable timelines. We are the wayshores, and it is essential that we fly high above the crowd, and see far into the future, holding that vision, no matter what. In order to manifest the best outcome for humankind, we must be able to see where we are going. Focus on the finish line, and keep your eyes on the prize. Spirit, what is next on my journey of soul growth? Once you know the vision, you can hold it in your mind's eye, ready to shape it to take form. Gaia is strongly calling the star blossoms and planetary wizards to unite in their collective visions of utopia today. Let's do it. Let Gaia reach her highest potential too. No more doom and gloom. It is done. Today's question, how can my new reality be shaped and take form in order for myself and Gaia to grow and blossom to our highest potential? It is time for the foundation of our new world to take form, sprout, and seek the highest light. In Lakek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 4, Yellow Self Existing Seed, the mantra, the code for today is I define in order to target. Measuring awareness, I seal the input of flowering. With the self existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of universal fire. And in this great activation of the ring of fire of the fire in our heart the fire from within threefold flame merging into one let us know in the comments below beloved beings of light what you're experiencing what you're feeling your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the subscribe button below the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always, we have a link in the description below the video on the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your support and pledges on Patreon and your donations. I'd like to welcome and thank today Divine Sister of the Light Crystal Hall for your pledge and support on Patreon. The Eagle and the Condor. Truly appreciate you and your support and all of you on Patreon that's continuing 
to support us through your pledges, through your monthly pledges. We have many great things coming for you. The queen and I, my sacred condor, are planning on doing guided meditations. We're preparing for that. I'm also still working on this beautiful video presentation of my encounter with the sacred great white spirit horse in the Death Valley on the second day I was there while I play the Native American flute. I got tied up today trying to secure this apartment that I'll be able to anchor into for the next six months. I had to compromise a little, so we're going to have to kick the can down the road a little bit because I needed some private land and property, but I have to take what I can get for now, and I truly appreciate that I'll be able to get out of these hotels and save money and be able to anchor in a little bit into a temporary place that I have to sign at least for six months and a couple of the stories are going to be including this adventure today because I know there's a couple of you out there that enjoy my weird and strange stories. So again, if you go to my goddess's website, lunagoddessart.com and purchase one of her goddess totems, I will send you a video on a training on the practice, the art, the Andromedan art on how to connect and call down the sky nations, the star beings. I believe when someone makes a purchase, my angel will get an e your email. If not, send me an email to habanerosun at yahoo.com. Also, we have an email on our website, primedisclosure.com, and we'll send you this private link that you'll be able to learn the practice and start training in our eagle and condor lineage, which will expand and evolve in time and be part of our healing retreat center. Many great things to come. Again, for those already on Patreon, be sure to check out the community page, the community link, tab, whatever you call it, on our channels, Prime Disclosure and Paul Butler. And we're posting our trainings on there so they're easier to find. I think there's over 150 or more posts on Patreon, so it's getting harder to find the personal trainings and the new things that we do. So for now, that was the best way I could think of to make it simpler for our team on Patreon to find those special trainings and gifts that we're creating and going to create for all of you supporting us on this great mission. So here we go. Let's see what we can come up with today as I journey to this apartment complex in town. I was trying to find the office to meet with the person that runs the complex for the property management company and I couldn't find it so some young woman was sitting out and having a cigarette so I walked up to her and asked her uh, where the office was and she said well I'll take you to where it was because it was kind of tricky to find and I looked up at the corner of my eye and there were like four huge like dogs up on this balcony it kind of made me jump because they were all looked like they were <laughs> hanging over the edge and they were like these huge statues of different dogs. And I said, whoa, that's pretty wild. And she started laughing. She goes, yeah, that woman's a little strange. And I said, I thought you weren't allowed to have dogs at this place. <laughs> and she laughed and said, yeah, they made an exception for her. People are very picky in this area about what kind of animals you're allowed to have when you rent a place. And Cleveland is very different. So as I spoke a while today with... Leslie that was running the place she took me out to show me the apartment and as we were walking out there was this little tree that looked like a Japanese maple and the person that lived in the apartment there they cut out like from a cardboard box and wrote like a magic marker like please do not spit on my tree so <laughs> it's a, this tree is not for spitting and I pointed out to the, uh, Leslie, I said, that, that's a pretty wild sign. She's like, what's that? I said, well, that they're making a point to tell people uh, not to spit on this tree. I guess it, it must happen a lot. <laughs> she said, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just see people spitting there a lot. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know what's going to happen. If someone puts a sign out not to spit somewhere, you, you know people are going to spit on the sign. I mean, let's, let's face the basic facts here. And is it really that big of an issue that they had to take the time to make a sign? 
but who knows I, i'll have to question them if i meet them if if this is a common issue and maybe i'll see if they'll let me record it i think what'll be funny because it's a lot funnier when it happens than telling the story <laughs> so what i might do in this coming year is walk around and just video these crazy interactions i have with people daily because every day the matrix gets weirder and weirder so sometimes you have to see stuff to believe it because there are many other weird things that happen but you know it's all part of this great shift that's why i tell people every day you cannot make this shift up and the shift is hitting the fan so we're gonna do our best to do our work from this apartment building which will be an interesting transition from where i've been staying and then the least, at least I'll be saving some money. So then I'll work towards the visioning the next phase and the next step in this great mission together with my sacred condor and keep you all up to date as we go. So like I said earlier, I may be offline for a couple of days. I don't know how long it's going to be to get internet in the place, but I'm trying to get in there by Monday on the solstice. So I'll definitely be MIA for that day, maybe a couple of days. So I'll let you all know when I'm back online and continue these transmissions so thank you all for your prayers and your blessings for me to find a place so it's not exactly what we were looking for but it's better than nothing so thank you everyone thank you great spirit for helping me through this transition we have faith that everything is going to work out and we're going to manifest a place that we can anchor more deeply into and create our work and i have many visions of medicine wheel and spiral and then through these activations be able to focus more of our energy and intent on manifesting the first healing retreat center so we'll have more time and energy to put towards that once we're at the point of being able to do this w work more permanently and more long term so thank you everyone for your donations and your pledges on patreon because of all of you that will be able to continue our work and to expand on what we're currently doing and build our vision, our dream of the empire of love for all of humanity. So have a beautiful and blessed day. Keep walking your path with heart, beloved beings of light. We love you all. Namaste.